Um, I know there was the hearing on TikTok that was last week. A couple of Democratic lawmakers do have their own TikToks. They are actively posting on it. Have you had any conversations with them about the national security concerns that might be at risk or ask them to maybe stop posting or consider deleting their accounts? No, I haven't engaged in any conversations with those members. Uh, my presumption is those are those are personal phones. Uh, government phones are not allowed to uh, to have that uh, that application. I think what's more important uh, to highlight uh, out of that hearing is uh, the importance of colleagues on both sides of the aisle. Uh, asking uh, tough questions, uh, having a mind toward uh, the health of our communities um, and uh, the health and safety of our young people. Uh, that's similar to where we start uh, when it comes to gun violence protection, gun violence prevention, uh, wanting to make sure we have a safer communities, uh, but the social media companies are not exempt from us having conversations about, uh, about safety. Um, uh, clearly there have been national security uh, discussions as well associated with uh, the data that uh, that that company has in their possession, uh, what they choose to do with it or what they are asked to do with it uh, has been a focal point among policymakers on on both sides of the aisle on both sides of this chamber. And we're going to continue to to have those discussions, and I trust that the Energy and Commerce Committee, as well as other committees, uh, will continue to engage in that uh, in the. Uh, weeks and months ahead. If I can just follow up on that really quickly, I mean, it, right now I know the focus is on TikTok, but some of the privacy concerns that you've mentioned go across the board, including to U.S. social media companies. Does Congress really need to kind of pull back and look at sort of everything instead of just focusing on TikTok? Uh, I think Congress has. Look, we have the ability to to walk and chew gum at the same time. And uh, you you saw the prior Congress uh, talk about privacy legislation. Uh, we weren't able to get it across the finish line, but a robust uh, discussion in in committee that the that the vice chair uh, serves on. Uh, and I'll ask him to comment specifically. Um, but these are, I'm sorry, uh, in energy and commerce. Um, but the Judiciary Committee also has these conversations as well. Uh, look, the importance of this discussion isn't isn't lost on any of us. Uh, the protection of people's you know personal data, uh, I'll tell you, is the is a parent of two teenage boys. The uh, expectation and the presumption of um, uh, of that of that data is a little different in in the coming generation, and that's something that we have to navigate. But there clearly are public policy implications, and we're going to you know dig in and and have those conversations uh, as a caucus and and as a as a Congress. And he answered it well. Okay. Thank you. I just want to follow up quickly on the Emily Quist question on, on TikTok. It seems like a lot of the members that are, are overly supportive of it seem to be more in your progressive wing. Do you have any thoughts on that or, um, you know, if there's an ideological divide in terms of what they supported? No, I think that this has uh, less to do with ideology and, and more to do with, with generation. Um, these are also members uh, that uh, have campaigned recently, won campaigns, um, uh, have uh, platforms and engage, you know, constituents and, and people across the country uh, using some of these social media platforms a little more adept at it than I am uh, personally. Um, so uh, I, tr I trust that that's, that's how the environment that they were raised in um, and uh, part of the reason why they, they came to Congress is to engage and to have these discussions. Uh, I don't begrudge that at all. I think that it's, it's healthy. Um, it's great. We need to also uh, overlay that when you get here. Uh, our ability to govern, our desire to govern um, uh, with an eye toward national security, with an eye toward competitiveness, with an eye toward uh, protecting the personal privacy rights of, of individuals across this country. Um, uh, those are those are the next steps uh, in, in governing, and I trust that our colleagues are going to join with us and have those conversations in the future. Eric? Just for the final point, it's a TikTok on the table. Do you think that's something you could see happening in this Congress? A variety of legislative uh, proposals. Uh, you've seen some of those uh, originate in the Senate even. Uh, I don't think anybody's closing any door at this point. Um, I appreciate the thoughtfulness of members on both sides of the aisle uh, that they undertook with this with this hearing. We look forward to the to the steps ahead, but I don't think any doors closed.